We are here at Stonehill Golf Course for the sixth tournament in this startup that is Shaking Up World Golf. I am joined by Ian Poulter, the man uh, universally referred to as the postman. Uh, considering the partnership between Liv and the Asian Tour, and you're here in Asia for the first time, one can say this is the home leg for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's actually nice to actually be coming to Asia and you know, obviously that hasn't been the case, you know, through COVID and uh, with how the last few years have panned out. So, you know, for me uh, and a lot of the other guys that have traveled around the world playing golf for a very long time, it's actually really nice. Um, I, I'm trying to work out how long it's been since uh, yeah. the last time I was here in Bangkok, but, um, you know, Stonehill, what an amazing facility. Incredible to think, um, you know, how perfect every part of this golf course is. It's, it's brand new, it's new to us all, so we're gonna have to learn that. Um, but it's good to be able to come to this part of the world and, you know, see some faces that have obviously followed us through the years. Your fans uh, bestowed on you the nickname, the postman, because of your exploits in Ryder Cup. And that's the pinnacle of team competition in your sport. But I also saw you with your team at the Singapore Grand Prix. It's a good way to bond. It's a great way to bond. You know, we worked out a few weeks ago that uh, the Formula One was going to be in town, albeit a two-hour flight away. Um, you know, for us to have that ability to take the whole team, there was eight of us that managed to uh, to go and watch the Grand Prix. It was great fun. Um, we had a great time. We was there for the three days. We did FP1, FP2, FP3 qualifying and the race. Um, and that's nice to be able to acclimatize, to get us on the right time zone, to come here um, feeling refreshed, you know, ready to give this week as, uh, as much energy as we possibly can. There was rain there, there's rain here as well. <laughs> yeah, it, seem, it seems like the thing, you know, every afternoon this time of year, it seems to have a, have a bit of a downpour. So uh, yeah, we've, we've ex experienced that today in practice. Um, and I'm sure we'll get some more rain during the rest of the week. I spoke about this bonding, Ian. Uh, it, the situation in the last couple of months hasn't always been very charitable. People have said a lot of nasty things for what has essentially been a career choice on your part. It, it, has that made, brought you all more together, all your, all your teammates? Um, I don't know if it's brought us all more together. You know, we, we understood, you know, the ability of what this would give us. It gives us a platform to play golf on the same way the European Tour has a platform, the same way the Asian Tour and the same way the PGA Tour. And players like myself that have played these tours and tournaments all over the globe for 24 years, you know, this is another outlet for us to be able to go and play golf. And this is why we took the choice to obviously join Liv. We saw the vision, we saw the brand, we saw where they wanted to play golf, how it would add to the team format situation. And I'm proud to be in a position where you know we have our team set we are the four guys that we know are going to move forward over the next three years um, and because of that it will help us become closer together um, having a shotgun start in you know whether it's late morning or early afternoon depend depending on uh, obviously the time zones you know enables us to dine in the evening together um, and sometimes that just wouldn't happen because one person's on a late tea time the other person's on an early tea time. So sometimes that crossover never used to work, but we do have that kind of knit bonded situation right there. And um, it's, it's, it's really enjoyable. It, re it really is. Yes, I did walk a couple of uh, holes with some of the players and just saw that, you know, that bond, those vibes, the sort of ribbing, which you don't always see in the PGA tournament. But, you know, uh, you, you successfully challenged the European Tour sanctions on on, on the uh, European Tour players who join LIV. That, that case is in court. There's another case in court as well. Obviously, there's been a sort of sharpening of positions, as they say, in the last couple of months. But uh, Rory McElroy said that perhaps it's time now for everyone to just tone down the rhetoric. Um, th there's been a lot of talk. And, you know, to be honest, um, you know, I've, I've, albeit that I've been part of uh, the case, obviously, you know, against my position in Europe, uh, I objected against the suspension and obviously the, the fine situation. Uh, and obviously we'll see how that plays out. But um, there, there, there's been an awful lot said. Um, I'm not going to elaborate. Um, I, don't, I don't really you know, think I need to. You know, I feel this is it's just... It's out there. It's out there. There's a, you know, there is 
there's the ability to add events, there's the ability to play multi-tours, as we have done always in the past. Uh, this shouldn't be any different. Okay. Now, you know, initially when Liv launched in just outside of London, a lot of people said, oh, it's an upstart league. You know, it's all, you know, it's, it's not going to work. But as Greg Norman said last week, the product is working. Do you and your rest of your golfers, who your fellow mates on this on this journey, do you look at yourselves as pioneers, someone who was part of something which is going to, which is shaking up the sport? Yes, it's definitely shaking up the sport. Uh, there's no question about that. And you know, calling us pioneers, I mean, it's a new entity. It's a startup business. It's a business which has got traction extremely quickly. Uh, it's grown a fan base extremely quickly. The viewerships are growing. They're kind of getting into the whole team format, um, just like we've understood, and that's the reason why we've got so many strong players playing in this uh, series. Okay. Uh, all these years that I've covered sport, Ian, you know, you've always been told play fair. But, but all this convolution that's happening around your sport at the moment, oh, that the majors could change the qualification criteria, uh, people who are playing in live are not eligible to play at the President's Cup or the Riders Cup, Ryder Cup on which you're a stalwart. Do you get a feeling that, that the fan is being shortchanged, that the fan wants to see the best players out there? And what, what we're seeing at the moment is perhaps the authorities or the, the organizers, it's their sort of egos coming in between. Ultimately, you're out there to entertain the fan. We, we're definitely out there to entertain a fan like we have done the last 24 years. Uh, the powers that be and uh, kind of the way the governing bodies are looking at this, um, is is something to be questioned. So, you know, they they need to get together. They they need to work a solution out. And whether the official world rankings um, is a is a valid entity as it stands today, um, it's looking more and more kind of dated, the way it stands. And however, you know, the majors themselves would would actually see, you know, whether they're even being a possibility. Um, that there's a live qualification uh, criteria into their event, you know, we're not sure. It kind of changes daily, um, and obviously, you know, Greg and the whole team that are, you know, active out there trying to obviously, you know, stand up for the position of, of all of the players. Um, we'll, you know, we we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, but you spoke about the world ranking uh, business. You all wrote a letter to the world ranking and said every week that goes without world ranking points be awarded to you or the rest of your teammates over here. It sort of undermines the system. Do you feel that undue pressure is being put on them to ensure that you guys are, are sort of kept out of it? That's, that, that's the sense I got reading that letter. Um, look, it, the, fa the fact there isn't, and obviously there's criteria in place that um, you ha would have to you know, tick the boxes of a, of, of a number of the things to be able to get world rankings, um, you know, and, and, and we're fully aware of that. So if there's tweaks here and there, if, if that, you know, there is, there is a way to, to make it work with inside the actual system itself, um, then therefore it would, it would be better for the overall fan of golf. Um, it is a little bit of a broken system at the minute. Um, hopefully, and the hope, I think, for, for every player that's out here playing is there's a level of sensibility. The best players in the world can compete against the best players in the world uh, in all of the tournaments that the fans love to watch. So um, we can only be hopeful that that, that that has some level of coming together. OK, that's still going to take some time to sort of untangle. But finally, before I let you go, one of the reasons a lot of players said they're joining Live Golf is also it allows you time at home spend time with the family. How is your time at, at Live? Open it up for you with your family. I have seen a couple of videos of you online, young family, uh, some of them probably getting into college or, or growing up as well as a dad. Yeah, listen, I, you know, I've always generally been away for 27, 28, 29, 30 weeks a year. Um, we have the ability now, obviously 14 weeks in uh, 2023, we know because the schedule's already out there. Um, if I choose to add a number of events on top of that, wherever that may be, I would still believe my schedule to be considerably less than what I used to play, um, which therefore is going to give me time with Amy. She's at Clemson, obviously Luke at Florida. I'll be able to watch him play golf, help him with his game. You know, I'll be able to help Lily hopefully enjoy the game of golf. She doesn't at the minute. And then obviously Joshua the same way. So. Um, it definitely gives me a little bit more time at home. We can plan 
schedule wise to be able to in and around our current schedule that we know we'll be able to actually figure a few extra things out that we can do as a family okay Ian on that note thank you so much for your time and inputs uh, you've clearly got a cup at least three for good rounds left in you so keep the fight going <laughs> I certainly will <laughs> cheers thank you thanks <laughs>